Whenever a current is passed through a conductor, a magnetic field is produced. If a charged particle comes in its vicinity it is either attracted or repulsed. It is because of a force is exerted by magnetic field. Similarly if a lot of charge flow that is current is allowed to flow through a conductor. Then magnetic field also exert a force on two current carrying conductor. As a result there is a displacement. If we reverse direction of current. Direction of force is also reversed. It is observed that displacement is maximum. When perpendicular to the plane. Containing current and magnetic field perpendicular to each other. As such the direction of force can be found by Fleming's left hand rule. The rule states. Open your left hand palm. Keeping forefinger to the direction of magnetic field. The middle finger to current. Then thumb gives the direction of force. Now we will try to understand what is electromagnetic induction. To understand this let us have a solenoid A B attached with the galvanometer. We place a bar magnet near to the end B. We see no deflection when bar magnet is unmoved. But when magnet is moved towards B. We observe a deflection in the galvanometer. When taken back again the deflection is in the reverse direction. Such a phenomenon is called induction. The same type of activity is observed. When we keep magnet fix and move solenoid towards. Simply speaking when north pole of magnet is moved towards the coil. It polarizes the frontal cross section as south pole. The other end is north. Hence deflection is clockwise. In another words we can say a potential difference is created at the two ends of solenoid. Resulting in induced current is produced moving clockwise. And in reverse when taken away from the coil. Frontal cross section polarizes as north pole. And the other end is south. And hence deflection is anticlockwise. In another words we can say a potential difference is created at the two ends of solenoid. Resulting in induced current is produced moving anticlockwise. Now the question is how to find direction of induced current so produced. The direction of induced current so produced can be found by Fleming's right hand rule which states. Open your right hand palm keeping forefinger towards magnetic field, thumb towards motion then middle finger will show direction of induced current, if all the three fingers are perpendicular to each other.